Deuteronomy chapter 14 is primarily dedicated to dietary laws and the giving of tithes. The children of Israel were given specific instructions about the consumption of land animals, marine animals, birds, and insects. Then in verse 22, the topic shifts to tithing and provisions for the priest. But before any of that, the Lord deals with a pagan ritual for the dead and really sets the context for everything that follows. Listen to verses 1 and 2. Since you are the people of the Lord your God, never cut yourselves or shave the hair above your foreheads in mourning for the dead. You have been set apart as holy to the Lord your God, and He has chosen you from all the nations of the earth to be His own special treasure. So what's up with the cutting and the shaving? In the pagan culture surrounding Israel, it was common to cut yourself or to shave the front of your forehead as a part of the burial ritual. But God's people were instructed not to follow this rite. Today, it's a reminder for you and I that we're called to follow God's ways, not the ways of the people around us. See, to the world around us, death is the end. It's hopeless. But as believers, we're not to sorrow as those who have no hope. Our hope is in the finished work of Jesus and that heaven awaits us when this life ends. And just as the Hebrew nation was, you and I are holy people unto God. We've been chosen, set aside for His special purpose, and we're His treasured possession. And that's my hope for you and I today as we continue daily in the Word, that we would see ourselves from God's perspective in Scripture. We're holy, we have a special purpose, and we're treasured by God.